Ah, good morning. Um, I'm Chris on the longest way. Today is uh, July 15th, 2018. We're about uh, 9,500 and probably 80 kilometers from Beijing. And I just woke up here in this open air restaurant in a small town, Kumule or something like that. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm still not awake yet. Um, yeah, I came here last night looking for a place to sleep and uh, the hotel for some reason was really expensive so then I ended up here in this restaurant and people were enjoying barbecue and Riliun, the uh, shisha or the hookah whatever you want to call it and listening to music and uh, I did the same well I don't smoke but I ate barbecue and I talked with them until like 1.30 or 2 and then I went to sleep here in my little box here and now it's about 7 in the morning I just woke up and I'm getting ready to leave I'm packing up the caboose everything is in there I don't know if you remember the picture that the girls drew for me in that little village in the beginning of Golestan, it's still here and then here's the CD I got from the metal concert where I went to in Tehran well and now I'm getting ready to go out there actually I gotta go out there through the door like a civilized person Oh, but man, I'm so tired. I'm probably gonna walk like two or three hours and then sleep. How's that? It's not the worst idea. Okay, you're not gonna believe this. But there is a driving school here. And this is where they come to exercise. <laughs> So they actually learn how to drive in driving school before they just go berserk. <laughs> Important service announcement and please excuse the wind. It has been brought to my attention that these are tree plants, all of them. Well, not the big ones. Those are, I think, oranges. But uh, yeah, these small bushes here, short, fat, they're tea. Tea from uh, Gilan, from this province, is very famous in Iran. And the tea plants, they extend all the way up there in the mountains. Into the mountains, I should say. Is that awesome? And I'd seen these uh, plants before, but I didn't know what they were, and now I know. And I'm, I'm drinking uh, tea too. Just this tea here. Dude who showed me uh, the tea plants, he showed me the leaf. And then he made some tea. Well, they're fermented, so it doesn't look like this, but yeah, I'm hanging out over there in this little tea joint. Having some tea. But man, I gotta get walking. But isn't this awesome? It's tea. I'm not a coffee person, never been, but tea, awesome. So I'm having my tea here, this tea and that glass in this little tea house here. What is over there? <clears throat> this is the best place where one of them came from there and then we're walking next to the mountains and there's a lake and there's some horses and some birds and it's awesome and there are Simpsons clouds 
Man. Sometimes walking sucks. And sometimes it really doesn't. Sometimes it's just awesome. Okay, the horses are bored of me now. Okay. I get it. So the country road stopped and then there were some military barracks so I was called inside and questioned, it took only like 5 minutes, 10 minutes or something, they were really nice. So in the end when they figured that I was just a random idiot pulling a weird trailer, then they let me go and now I'm back on the highway here. And it's a highway just like all the others. Oh, this is interesting. Came to this little patch of forest that has ribbons, green ribbons in the trees. And uh, I think green could be for Imam Hussein. Could be, I'm not sure. Could be entirely something different but it reminds me a little bit of uh, Kazakhstan where according to tradition people like to put ribbons into big trees but they're not unicolored they'd be all kinds of colors in here they're all green just layers and layers of ribbons oh and there's some trash <laughs> It looks really nice. Maybe somebody knows what this is, what this means. I don't know. All I know is I gotta find a place to put up the hammock. Alright, so if you're wondering why it looks so shitty, I've just walked up a little mountain to the shrine here, the shrine to two imams, and uh, this down here is where I came from. I'm going to show you the uh, slope in a little bit. That's where the caboose is standing over there, and uh, then I'm going to go check out the shrine. Hello. Which is back here, and I already got some tea from this uh, friendly gentleman. Hello. Hello, Bobby. Hello. I saw the horse. In the Iran, ah, Sheikh Zahid. Ah, what is Sheikh Zahid? Ah, merci. Merci. I'll talk to you later. This is the inside of the shrine. There's a little plaque that says it's uh, from the 13th or 14th century, but that it burned down. So if you look at the roof, it's brand new. But the sarcophagus, I don't know. I don't know from when it is. There's some uh, religious books. And then there's the big one. And they're always green on the inside in Iran. Always green, and sometimes there's money inside. Let's see, is there money? Yep. Uh, I don't think you can see it from here. Let's see, maybe we can make it brighter. You see down there? Yep. There's money. 
And uh, since it's two, well, you can sit here. And since it's two, there's another one. More money. Ah, oh, there's a lot of money there. See? Back there in the corner. Just telling me I got no GPS signal. Well, okay. One thing that's interesting here, and it took me a while to notice, is that there's no divider for men and women. Normally there would be one right here. So women go in the one section and men go in the other half. But here there's none, and I don't know why. Maybe. Maybe there's not many people here that come here, or, I don't know, maybe they found another way to separate the men from the women. Maybe somebody knows in the comments. And then there's a political, well, the leadership and the legacy. They're up there. And sometimes I wonder how you would feel as a religious person to see politics and, and religion mingle so Awkwardly, I would say. All right, so I arrived in uh, Lahijan in this town here. Actually, I arrived a, a while ago, but I stayed up here next to the lake. There is a lake promenade. I'm going to show you guys, but here's the lake first. And I stayed here for a few hours, took a time lapse. So I'm going to show you guys and uh, hung out with some people that were, I don't know, just walking along the promenade here. Some like really fast, others pretty slow. So I kind of just talked to them and uh, had some tea and waited for the time lapse. And today was a good day. It started out pretty difficult because I was so tired because of last night, not much sleep. And uh, then the highway was bad. But then the shrine was awesome. I'm going to put up pictures. And hanging out with the old dudes and having tea with them was the best. I'm going to put up pictures of them on the blog. It's thelongestway.com. If you like the video, check it out. It's a daily blog. It's got maps on there too, if you're wondering where we're at. Uh, or what you can do is share the video. I'm always happy if you share it. Show it to somebody who likes. What was it today? Dogs, I think. And here's uh, the promenade. There's a lady filming there, just like me. <laughs> and there's two dudes talking about politics. I understand words like country names, <laughs> Iran, America, and here's the lake. And I'm probably showing you the time lapse right now, or maybe I'm not, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a good night. France just became world champion, which is awesome. You know, our countries used to hate each other. But now we're friends, and isn't that a good thing? Allez les bleus! But I guess you don't have to, Allez. <laughs> you already arrived. Congratulations, world champions. Peace.